Moti Friedman and his colleagues demonstrated for the first time the invisibility of an event in time, a phenomenon known as temporal cloaking. They were able to prevent light from interacting with a whole activity in time, rendering it undetectable for 50 picoseconds, a fraction so minuscule that can only be detected with a computer. The Daily Sun went to the lab to find out the details and the possible uses of this new technology. Temporal cloaking is, uh, in a sense, uh, the same as special cloaking in the way that, that you hide something from seeing. But in special cloaking, well, the way that we see things is by uh, seeing the light that interact with an object. If I see some, some object here, it's because I, because I actually see the light that interact with it. If I want to see an event, it's quite the same. I need to see the light that interact with it. The way that we are doing cloaking is just making sure that the light won't interact with the event. We make sure that there will be a gap, so the event will occur uh, when there is actually no time, no, no light. Well, the analogy uh, could be, um, for example, having um, some cars uh, running through a highway and uh, our event is um, somebody trying to cross through this highway and having the cars, uh, uh, for example, hitting this guy crossing the highway. So uh, the way we uh, let uh, the person uh, crossing the highway is uh, slowing down and accelerating the cars so there is a gap, there is a space between cars where the person can actually uh, pass through. Uh, but we don't want to have somebody at the end of the highway noticing there was this uh, empty space. So we tell the cars to accelerate and, and slowing down again in order to close the, the gap. And in this way, uh, the fact that somebody passes through the highway is hidden. This is our uh, invisibility. It, it, I guess at this point it's kind of hard to say. Um, there are some, you know, there could be some uses in communications, like if it might be uh, kind of useful for, let's say, if you want to insert a packet into um, an existing communication system without disrupting it, that might be a way to do it. Um, in general, you know, it's, it's sort of a proof of principle demonstration. Um, there might be some follow-ups that come out of it that we, you know, we haven't really thought of yet, or, you know, it's, it's definitely something that, um, uh, it's something that we're working on to try to figure out as well, along with hopefully other people, you know, following up on this. Okay, we are working now on uh, ways to to widen the temporal cloaking, so it won't be so short as 50 picosecond. Uh, we are working specifically now on something that will make us go to five nanosecond, and we have several ideas that will get us even uh, longer than that.